let me take you back to a sunny day on the Blood Tide coast. I was making my way through the swamp to meet up with someone from the Priory when I discovered a cave filled with pirates. Now, they didn't kill me on sight, so I went a little deeper. That's when I heard Jim Ladd talking to the captain. Captain, the merchants are demanding more gold, and the musicians are refusing to perform. Well then, we'll need to find some more treasure. What's our course, sir? Less torture, less pillaging, and a little more culture. And that requires plenty of booty. So the captain stood up and made an announcement to his crew. Gentlemen, I'm off to find more treasure. Who's with me? Very well then. At least I have my loyal first mate. Right? But the first mate was nowhere to be found. Turns out he was just passed out drunk. Yeah, aye, aye, Captain. I'd follow you to the gates of the underworld, I would. I, uh, where are we going now? Just fetch my pack bull. We'll need him to carry all of that gold back. Gold? Why didn't you say so, Captain? Right away, sir. And so began our amazing journey. I offered to travel with the captain as a bodyguard in return for a small share of the treasure. I could think of no better way to spend an afternoon than in the company of these fine gentlemen. Go on then, you worthless stubborn beast. <laughs> and so we embarked on our amazing journey. But it wasn't long before the captain called for a halt. This heat is beastly. Jim Lad, bring me my snuff box. Nothing cools the nostrils quite like a pinch, eh? Um, Captain, we didn't bring the serving boy with us. What? But who will fetch my snuff? And my wine? This simply won't do. Let's turn about at once. Suddenly, we were set upon by brigands. With my help, the captain was able to fight them off. Those bloody Covington bastards will think twice before they mess with us again. Though I did have a bit of trouble with some kind of flamingo thing. Careful, Captain. These buccaneers are getting more and more pushy as of late. Aye. Given the current hostilities with the other pirates, maybe we should be laying low for a bit. All the more reason to continue. Even without the serving boy. A good privateer would never back down from some petty rumble. Ah, the Captain was determined to continue. So we fought our way through the swamp, battling brigands, lizards, and a first mate who wouldn't stop whining. Captain, wait! We can't go no further without rest. I'm dying of thirst. I thought you were scared of this swamp. Now you want to stay a while? But in the end, we finally arrived at our destination. Captain, we've been running forever. Where is our treasure? Why, it's aboard our flagship, the Golden Peace. Hey, where is she anyway? Didn't we cast anchor nearby? I had her sunk, remember? With the treasure aboard the ship and the ship on the ocean floor, no one will ever find it. It was then that I realized that this captain was smarter than any of us had ever realized. What a genius plan. Now, to just dive under the water and collect our treasure. Of course, there were a few issues with the wildlife, but we came out okay. I admit, Captain, it was a fine hiding place for the gold. Still, I can't believe you sunk our ship. Hard to believe that a man of discriminating tastes would have such a firm grasp of naval tactics, but it's true. And so we began our return journey. It was just as perilous as before, but this time the Captain had a bad feeling. Something smelled wrong about this place. Oh. When was the last time you bathed, good man? You smell like a filthy pirate. But Captain, we just went for a swim. Surely it's the swamp you smell. Unless... Those bloody Covington pirates! In a last desperate attempt to take what was ours, they set a final ambush. We had a tough time of it, but in the end, we came out victorious. The first mate felt that a celebratory drink was in order. Care for some ale? Ale? That's what you've burdened my poor pack bull with. Ale is a common man's drink. But sir, this here be Bjorn's brew. Finest to be had. And not much left at that. What nonsense. I order you to leave that sludge here. Once we've returned, it's nothing but 20-year-old cognac for us. And so the captain heaved the Bjorn's brew into the swamp and set off home for a celebration. To be honest, I felt like a bit of a nip myself, so I followed, hoping to get some of that cognac he promised. Instead, I was in for something even better. I've returned, and with enough gold to pay for a thousand drinks! 
Captain, do you ever think there's more to life than just gold? Of course. There's wine and silk and gourmet cuisine. Shall we prepare another feast for you, Captain? A capital idea. The richest merchants of Lion's Arch could never live like this. I am the very model of a modern pirate general. I've information magical, mathematical, and mineral. I know the queens of Krita and can cite matters historical. From bloodstones to the dragon spawn in order categorical. In fact, I write my washing bills in old Canthan cuneiform. I'll tell you every detail sewn on Codicus's uniform. The skills and builds of warfare are essential to my strategy. You'll say a better pirate general has never sat a G. For oh, when you know the habits of the Char and the Elonians, when you can tell it's sight a Kurzik from an Ascalonian, you'll know my martial knowledge quite extensive and still myriad. 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 Ah! Has only been updated for the interregnum period. But still in matters magical, mathematical, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern pirate general! An amazing performance by the pirate captain known as Penzan. How could this day possibly get better? I decided to take my leave of the Penzan pirates and headed north. Soon, I came upon a small encampment of a priory scholar and her two bodyguards. I believe I've located a shipwreck with some valuable cargo inside. Come help me salvage it. Why should we help you? Unless... is it beer you found? Someone say beer? I've been sober so long, I can actually feel my face. I don't want to feel this face! Can't you sorry drunks focus for just one minute? Help me look for the artifacts, and then you can toast my find. The Norn bodyguards didn't seem very reliable, so I decided to tag along with Explorer Smatty and provide what assistance I could. And a good thing, too, because not 50 feet from their encampment, they came under attack from the local wildlife. We fought them off and made our way to the first dig site. Nothing here, nothing here. We'll have to keep looking. Those artifacts are somewhere around here. And that's how it went all day. We went from site to site fighting off monsters and pirates, but came up empty every time. It was really starting to affect the group's morale. I'm starting to think this is a fool's errand you've brought us on, little one. And you've made dry fools of us at that. When will we have those drinks you promised us? Now listen to me, you miserable sots! We can return to camp when we have those artifacts, and no sooner. Also, I never promised you drinks. It's as if you've only a single thought between the two of you. Finish the job at hand. Explorer Smatty sure would have felt right at home in the vigil. She had an aura of command that kept everyone under control. And so, we followed her to the final site. A site that looked... Awfully familiar. Just oh one God. more confirmation of how great it. I am. Let's see what we have here. Oh no! No, 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 this can't be right! Is that Bjorn's brew? Ha <laughs> ha! You've led us to a treasure of immeasurable value, little one! Bjorn's brew? I thought it had all been consumed years ago. We are in for a treat tonight. I order you two to leave that beer be! Oh, what a disappointment. And the moral of the story is... Take what you can get. We didn't find any relics, but at least some of us went home happy. But then... Time to sample some of this vine. Let's pour one back in honor of your discovery, little friend. You can stick with one. I won't stop until I can feel my eyeballs pickling. No, no, no! This is all wrong. You can't drink my find. What will I have to show the Priory? Oh, a few samples won't hurt anyone. Besides, we have all these other fine artifacts. They aren't going anywhere. I'll drink to that. Or so they thought. Deplorable bunglers. Unconscious on the job. I knew they couldn't stick to a few samples. What was that noise? Wake up, you two clods! Protect the supplies! Oh, this is bad. Very bad. As it turns out, more of those blasted pirates were just waiting for this opportunity. When they saw the guards pass out, they rushed the camp. Smatty and I had to hold them off all by ourselves. Finally, once the battle was over, the Norn woke up. You've met your better, execrable. 
Oh, pirates. This Asura is greater than the sum total of you. Pirates? Did we miss a battle? I'm battling a mighty hangover right now. You drink like an idiot. And that's my tale of Tyria. What about yours? Send us your amazing stories to feedback at talesoftyria.com and listen to the Tales of Tyria podcast to hear the best stories out there, as well as in-depth discussion of news, strategies, builds, and more. www.talesoftyria.com is how you can find us. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.